from handmade to home cooked and everything in between. The Spring Expo was here to give community members all the unique finds they could imagine. We make goat milk, soap, lotion, chapstick, bath bombs using fresh goat milk. Uh, we use all natural oils, so there's no chemicals in any of our products. I actually make the base of the hat um, out of, it's called buckram. I make polymer clay things and little books. We do sermon notebooks. The idea for the Spring Expo came from Creative Norse, Michelle Rupert, who wanted to help out local artists and creatives. I've just always had a passion for working with artists and helping them promote you know, their own businesses and promoting the idea of using your hands to create a product. Admission to the expo is free, but attendees are encouraged to donate food to the Bemidji Community Food Shelf. It is March Food Share Month. This is the time of year when we try to raise as much food and dollars as we can, and this is what helps us get through the summer months. Along with helping the food shelf, the event was a great way for people to show off their talents and passions. I started about four years ago with just a little pack of hobby clay and went from there. So adding new things every year and trying to do different things. This was the first Spring Expo and it proved to be a success. Organizers say more of them may pop up in the future. I love it. I think it's a great event to have in the spring. I really appreciate all the arts and crafts artists that have, you know, helped me build it up and I think we're going to keep doing it. Reporting in Bemidji, Shaw Moore, Lakeland News. More than 40 vendors were in attendance at the Expo. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.